most woodland owners enjoy their woods, but haven't really thought about it from a management perspective. Uh, for some, this is a family property uh, that they valued and visited as a child, uh, where, or for some others, it's a place where you go hunt annually or fish, uh, and it doesn't really seem like something that needs to be managed. However, once we start having a conversation uh, about wildlife, uh, invasive species, insect problems, or forest uh, products, or what we can derive uh, from a woodland, uh, most of us realize that it would benefit uh, uh, having some help from a professional, a natural resource professional, and oftentimes that is a forester. So we're lucky here in Kentucky, uh, in this state where we have a wide variety of options uh, to help us with our management planning. Uh, KDF, or the Kentucky Division of Forestry, has foresters. Uh, there are a number of uh, private and consulting foresters in the state uh, that can help you with the management of your, your woodland. So when you contact a forester to come help, uh, you should be ready to answer a few basic questions about uh, your property. Uh, even just some basic information, where you're located, what county you're in, the size uh, of, your, of your woodland, uh, and your property for that matter. And so if you just have some basic information that can go uh, help you go a long way uh, in, in getting a forester to, to help uh, get ready or prepare for the visit. In your first conversation with a forester, uh, it would be really helpful to them uh, if, if you thought about uh, some questions and had answers uh, to these questions ahead of time. And so certain simple questions like, uh, why do you own the property? Uh, what activities have you done on the property, property or do you enjoy doing on the property, such as hunting, fishing, uh, wildlife watching, uh, hiking, uh, uh, or, or cutting um, uh, firewood or some sort of forest product? Uh, have you done any work in the past? Uh, have you planted trees? Uh, have you built any trails or removed any invasive plants? Uh, was there a specific reason why uh, you uh, thought about managing your forest or consulting with a forester? Uh, do you have any specific concerns, whether it's forest health related, invasive species related, or something that you feel that's a little bit outside of uh, the context of what you, what you can do on your own? Uh, the forester will likely schedule a visit to come out and visit your, your woodland or your forest. Uh, and oftentimes it helps uh, if you're there and walk through the forest uh, with, with the, the forester and can uh, articulate specific needs uh, and desires for that, for that uh, specific woodland. Forester will typically provide you with some sort of plan or an action plan uh, or management plan uh, outlining different activities uh, for your woods. Uh, they will uh, also include uh, resources uh, that you talked about uh, or they noticed uh, would be helpful for your woodlands uh, with, with your uh, interests uh, in mind. Uh, they might also include some educational pieces for you uh, or a list of uh, resource professionals, uh, their natural resource uh, professionals, foresters, um, uh, or anybody that can help um, uh, with, with uh, implementing your management uh, plans. Uh, this can also include some cost share options for you to help, uh, help you with the list of things uh, in this management or action plan. So maintaining the health on your land uh, can really have a significant effect on uh, the forest health, uh, uh, the water, the wildlife uh, that uh, choose to live on, live on your land. And this includes uh, increasing and improving uh, wildlife habitat. Uh, profiting from your land through timber harvesting or hunting leases uh, is a common uh, goal for a number of landowners. Uh, and so thinking about how we manage our forests now can improve uh, those resources in the future. And protecting just the legacy of this land and passing it down to uh, our kids and the next generation. So thinking about these activities that you'd like to do related to your goals is, is really so important. 
And so if you have goals around wildlife on your land, uh, there might be some activities uh, that you would be um, interested uh, in doing. Perhaps you like uh, to watch birds and enjoy uh, going out and watching and listening uh, to different bird calls. Uh, but you want to create different places uh, on your land uh, to see birds. You might want to create different openings like meadows and have uh, more water sources uh, in your woodland. Or maybe you'd like to create some more uh, trails for you to walk through so you can actually view uh, a lot of the wildlife. And so we've got uh, this recreation and wildlife kind of intersecting with our goals. And so uh, record these activities uh, and plan and share them uh, when you meet with your forester so they have a better idea of what you want to do with that land. Uh, that you will uh, take the information that they provided you uh, and, and uh, think about how that can help create an overall management uh, plan and framework uh, for your own woodland uh, to improve forest health, help you meet your management objectives, uh, whether that's improving wildlife habitat, uh, improving timber resources, or other forest or non-timber forest products uh, in your land. And so thinking about this collectively, it's really uh, this, this great opportunity for you to take action uh, and actively manage uh, your forest. We've been talking about active management being so important and passive management being kind of this absence from, from any sort of management on the land. And we're encouraging even people who don't live in their particular woodland that they own to think about actively managing uh, their forest and their woodland uh, for overall forest health and improve uh, your forest uh, for decades and centuries into the future. The actions that we take now can have significant implications uh, and if we take um, sustainable management practices uh, those implications can be uh, a very healthy uh, and resilient forest uh, long into the future. But the forester is there to help. Uh, they want to help you actively manage your forest. Uh, and so this shouldn't be uh, in sort, any sort of intimidating or daunting experience. Uh, with, with a little bit of prep, uh, thinking about your land, uh, you can really articulate your goals to the forester and they can help you uh, manage your, your forest. Uh, they're there to help you think about your management uh, and help you actually achieve your goals. And so I hope this was helpful. Uh, please reach out uh, to the Kentucky Division of Forestry uh, or any uh, consulting uh, uh, forester to help you think about managing your forest.